YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph Growing in Zone 6B. If you are here for the first time, welcome for the first time. So, I was uh, down here in my grow station thinking about um, seed starting and whatnot and what people need to know about seed starting and some of the questions that I had uh, when it came to seed starting. So, I wanted to go through some information as it pertains to grow lights. I'm gonna do like a mini series of like three to like five videos of uh, seed starting or more depending on what I can think of or what I think of people should know. If you follow me, I will post a video each week letting you guys know what I think is important as a new gardener for seed starting. Like I said, I had a ton of questions when I start. What lights should I use? What growing medium or starting medium should I use? You know, what shelving did you choose? When do I start my seedlings? And that sort of thing. So today is all about lights. So behind me is my seed starting station. Um, you, if you haven't seen it, let me get out of your way so you can see it. I will leave this camera down and show you what it looks like. So that's it right there. So I got this shelf on sale from a closeout Macy's department store, but we're not going to get into that right now. When I first started my seeds, there was three um, types of lights that I tried before I set it on what I have now, which are shop lights. And I will get into that in a minute. The first set of lights that I purchased, they were called gardening lights. They were uh, strips. They were very, very thin strips. I ordered them from Amazon. Uh, at the time, I did not have a lot of money. I still don't have like a ton of money to spend on stuff. And even if I did, my channel is called Urban Frugal for a reason. And I like to get things on the cheap. So the strip lights came in a set of two. They were red, yellow, and white lights. They were on a timer. They are on a timer. And um, they last either six, eight, or 12 hours let me look I actually have them uh, hang on y'all matter of fact instead of me doing all that let me just bring y'all with me come on come on come on come on y'all come with me because I really want to show you guys this in real time because I am a learner by actually seeing things and so I want to show you guys what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to turn this camera around so that you guys can see. My growing station is dirty. I haven't cleaned it yet, guys. It uh, has a lot of dirt on it. So just, you know, a pre-warning. I'm not sure if you can see these strips here. Or I will go under the bottom. They are red, yellow, and white. I'll turn them on. That's what they look like. They came in a set of two. As you can see, I just mounted them with some twine to the shelf. This is what the cord looks like, guys. It has a timer on it. You can do brightness 70% uh, or 78% to 100%, 25, 50. And you can go up and down like this and then they have of course this timer on it can y'all see that it is two four and eight hours so that's the first set of lights that i purchased um they come just like i showed you they were probably about twenty dollars I bought them under specifically guard, garden lights. Usually if you purchase something that says garden lights, it will be more expensive, but it'll also um, a lot of times come with the 
different colors. Um, the different colors, the red, the yellow, and the blue, is supposed to be uh, mimicking the outside sun so that you are able to do some indoor growing. Now, what I will say about that very small strip is I don't believe it is strong enough for me to grow indoors. I have not tried it um, because typically I don't grow indoors during the winter. Um, I like to grow outdoors, but that is what it's there for. Now, the second uh, set of lights that I got was um, a light that is at my work right now uh, for seeds starting there. So I can't really show you that one, but um, see the picture here and you'll know what it looks like. I got that one off Amazon as well. So like that light, I like the clip aspect of it because it um, allows me to place that light wherever I need it. Um, it also comes in the red, yellow, and white. Those lights are a bit stronger than the ones that I have and they are also on a timer. The third set of lights that I purchased are the lights that I have behind me now. The lights that I showed you, and again, that's what they look like. Those are two strips of um, shop lights. Shop lights are just LED lights. I did not get them from Amazon, although you can. I got them from the Home Depot. Um, they cost me a little more. They were about, probably about 18 to $20 a piece. Um, these come with these clips, these uh, strings, just like this. And I just turn them on and off like that. I zip tie them. They do come with um, chains to hook the lights to the ceiling, like if you were in the shop. Or um, you could just zip tie them like I did or string them up here. Um, I like the idea of zip tying because I do like to move my lights back and forth like this. I am going to get another set of strip of lights. I have two of these, one here and one here. The reason that I say I'm going to get another strip because I have some little seed leaves that I started growing here and I would like to place another strip in the back. So I'm going to get two more strips so that I can place in the back and they will work fine. Now, now, here's the thing about shop lights. Shop lights come in a variety of lumens. That's number one. Number two, they also come in corded and uncorded. You do not want to get the uncorded ones. Unless you are an electrician and you get ready to do something real fancy and mount them to your ceiling, which is a whole lot of work, probably, I'm assuming, um, just get the shop lights, the LED lights that you can plug in the wall. Um, a second, another thing is about the lumens. So the lumens, um, I would get 3,500 to 5,000 lumens when it comes to a shop light. Anything less than that might be too dull. Um, you wanna make sure that you have a, a sufficient amount of light. Remember, these are your seedling seedlings. They are going to need a pretty intense and direct light in order for them to thrive until they can go outside. Your plants are going to be in the house for several months. And um, you know, you wanna get something that's strong enough to sustain them until it gets warm outside, especially if you're in a colder climate like I'm in in zone B, uh, 6B, where it's going to be uh, cold for a while. So, you know, if you are looking into buying shop lights or any kind of grow lights, um, those are the three main ones that um, I have or I have had. Um, if you are really, really, really on a budget and you saying like $12, $18, even, you know, $10 is too much, you know, I, I hear you. Times is rough. 
A nickel, a dime is a nickel and a dime. This is what you can do. Now, let me bring y'all in close so y'all can see this. Because I need you to see what I got going on right, right here, right here, right here, right here. Try not to bust nothing up while I do this because y'all know I'm clumsy. No, I am clumsy. So, again, let me lean this here camera down. Um, you see this here? This is a regular old light bulb. LED light bulb. Cost me three bucks. This is one of them old, like, uh, screw-ins right here that you would uh, have for a regular light bulb. To give you an idea of the brightness, I turn this whole thing off. If I put these, if I, if I light my plants with this, it will work. It will work in a pinch. If this is all you can afford, and this cord probably will cost you about five dollars i got this from the thrift store it didn't call it probably cost me three dollars um if you got one of these laying around the house this is corded as well i have it plugged in go ahead and get you an led light or if you ain't got this get you a lamp get you a lamp and get you the brightest led light that your money can buy and um go on and and you know rig up your grow station now you may need a couple of lamps for that but i have seen people do it that way before so you know in a pinch you know don't spend a whole lot of money on this if you got twenty dollars make that twenty dollars work do ten dollars and ten dollars do two led lights and if you got an extra lamp go ahead and get that you know if you get, get that light bulb if you can afford a little bit more, go ahead and get the shop lights. They still only cost me probably almost $40 or a little over $40 for two, depending on your area. So, you know, that's it, y'all. I just wanted to um, go over the different type of lights that I have. I thought it would, the information would be useful for somebody. Um, it's definitely uh, useful for me. It's all about trial and error. You know, the next video that I will do next week, since it's not quite time to start seedlings yet, um, is get into um, how to use the lights themselves and how close your seedlings need to be and all of that. And um, talk about the growing medium or um, starting medium as well. All right, y'all, that's it. You know, y'all stay tuned. If you've watched this video through the entirety of it, I appreciate you. I thank you. Please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe um, if you found this information useful. And follow me throughout the 2024 growing season. I'm going to be starting my seedlings real soon in about a month's time. And I want to bring you guys along on that journey. Uh, all right. If you guys have any other... Uh, light options that uh, are cheaper or might be helpful for somebody please drop them in the comments let people know what you did um, i know some people say that they grow their seedlings on a sunny window i did try that the first year it did not work for me my seedlings were quite leggy so i personally think that you do need some type of um, additional lighting and um yeah that's it all right y'all that's the tip for this week. Y'all stay tuned. I will see y'all on the next video and uh, bye for now.